Hey everyone, I'm just about to do an unboxing of my Sony X3000R action camera. Now this video won't be ready for a few weeks, but I need to unbox it just now. But whilst I'm here, I thought I would stick the camera on and just show you my overhead camera setup because this is new. I was, I was using a, a different setup before. I was actually using this before, this uh, basic little tripod and just hanging the, the camera upside down. Now, for the most part, that did work, but the legs were always getting in the way. And I've kept with a tripod set up just now. Uh, I find that this is a little bit more stable. I was using this mic boom arm before. I've got another one over there. And, I, you know, as far as moving about, you can see I'm moving it about. This is probably the most practical as far as, you know, just ease of use. You just attach it to your desk and you can swing it about. I did find, though, that it was always a little bit shaky because when I put my hands on the table... It shaked everything else. Um, this, you know, tr this new setup, this tripod setup seems a little bit more stable. Now, the difference between the new setup and this older setup is that this one has a horizontal column. So I don't have to hang it upside down. What I've got is the KNF Concept tripod, 72 inch tripod, but I've got this central column. I've got an extender on it as well. And I'm also using this Coolertron Z bracket. Now, I'll leave a link to both of these video reviews. I have reviewed both of these already. But what I've got here in this setup is both of them working together. So if I grab my GoPro, you should be able to see what the hell is going on here. Now, down there, you can see is the back leg. And that's something that you might have to do yourself. I found that when this is, you know, three legs is on the table, when the three legs are on the table, I find it's a little bit unstable. You know, it, it kind of topples over a little bit. And you have to watch with that as well. This central column goes 360 degrees, which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And you can see it there in the background there. It's spinning around. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. But if you spin it a certain way, you might find that the position you're in isn't stable. So you do have to find a kind of Goldilocks zone and find an area where it's stable, but you're also getting the shot that you want. And the shot that you want is basically the shot that doesn't have the legs, it doesn't have anything else in there. And when you get it, then you can zoom in and out to get the shot that you want. And it's not perfect. You do have to kind of set it up every time if you don't want it sitting there. And you can see even there, look, it just fell into my monitor, which isn't ideal. And that's because I was moving it around a little bit. You do have to get it set up perfectly. Make sure you get the, the ball head here set up correctly, make sure you get this um, Z bracket set up correctly. But the reason I've got these three things working, like the, the tripod, the bow head, and the, the Z bracket working in, in unison, the reason I've got them all working like this is with the bow head and with the Z bracket, I can pretty much get any angle I want. I can put this into any position I want. It really does work well. It's not the perfect setup, but yeah, you can see that it's not difficult either. It's really just a tripod with a central horizontal column and then a Z bracket to get those angles that you know you sometimes can't get with this ball head. You will need to mess around with your setup a little bit to get to the position that you want. If you move the horizontal column, you move it too far away to, to one side, the, ma the balance might go with the, the way that you had the tripod leg set up before which means that you need to extend the legs or you need to you know, make them wider or narrower. You need to kind of adjust it. And you can see I've made an adjustment just now as well. I've spent a few minutes just kind of messing around with it. And I've made the, the main central column, the vertical column, as you can see with my GoPro here. Um, you can see that I've extended this area here as well. Now, when I first did that, it started falling down because the legs weren't in the right position. I made these legs kind of expand a little bit further out rather than... Um, the kind of narrower angle they were at before. But what this is allowing me to do is, as you can see here, is to get a wider area for reviewing. And, and this is ideally what I'll be looking for because, yes, if I, I may want to get close up, but that's where I use the zoom. And this is very useful because when you're doing an, unbo an unboxing like this, sometimes what you need to do is you unbox it and then you, you spread out all the items on the table. So you can see there that I've adjusted it a little bit. This is higher, but because I did that, I had to extend the legs. Mm -hmm. And yes, this is a work in progress, and I, I probably will change this again at you know, some point in the future. I will mess around with it. But the key thing here about this tripod and Z bracket and tripod ball head setup is that I do have options. This is quite a versatile setup. 
it can be a little bit of a pain to set up initially because, as I said, you change one thing, you need to change other things. You need to change your legs, you need to change the horizontal column and the central column so that it doesn't tip over. You can, of course, use a weight at the bottom of the, the, the central column there if necessary. But the key thing is there is to really just kind of tweak everything until you get the position that you want. Maybe the best way to do it is to, you know, get the, the camera in the position that you want, extend the central column and get the camera at the height you want and then kind of work backwards and say, okay, how can I position the legs so that this is secure? This isn't the perfect setup. I may look at different setups in the future, but for now, this is a very good setup for me. I am always looking to tweak things to improve things, but I'm pretty pleased with how all of this works together with the tripod and the ball head and the Z bracket. I'm not saying it's a perfect setup, but hopefully if you've watched this video, you're interested in doing overhead shots. And at the very least, hopefully I've pointed you in the right direction and perhaps it will help you design your own custom setup. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any questions, please do leave a comment below and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.